So this question is a diagram question. I know that because of the shape that's provided here. I am in the habit of filling out any um, information within a diagram that I can based upon what I visually see prior to reading the question. Now you can do this after you read the question. It's not really a big deal whether you do it first or after. I just prefer to do it first. So for instance, I know that this angle here is 60 degrees because this angle and this angle are vertical angles. I also know that this angle here must be 50 degrees because 60 plus 70 plus 50 is 180. And that's pretty much all I can tell for sure when I look at this just visually without reading anything. So now let's start reading the actual question. So the question says in the figure above, line segment MQ and line segment NR intersect at point P. Okay, so that's, we knew that, we could see that very clearly, and that's how we know that those 60s are vertical angles. Then it says NP equals QP. Okay, so we didn't know that for sure, but I can make a little symbol here to represent that these two side lengths are congruent. And then MP equals PR. Okay, so that means that these side lengths are also congruent. What is the measure in degrees of angle QMR? So if I follow from Q down to M and over to R, the angle made from following there is this angle here. So there's the question mark angle. So what else can I figure out here? Well, I do actually know that this angle here, and I guess I could have known that without even reading, I know that this angle here must be 120 degrees because um, these angles, whether you match it up with this angle here to make a half circle, or you match it up with this angle here to make a half circle, those angles are supplementary, right? So on, along this straight line, we should have a total of 180 degrees, right? Or again, if I wanted to do it along this straight line, again, we should have a total measurement there of 180 degrees. So I'm gonna just redraw this bottom triangle that includes the angle that I'm looking for, right? This is my question mark. I know this is 120. And I know that these two sides are congruent to each other. So any triangle that has two congruent sides is called an isosceles triangle. Hopefully that sounds familiar. Isosceles triangles have two congruent sides, but they also have two congruent angles. So I know that this angle is equal to that angle. So again, the sum of the three angles, right? So this 120, this left angle, this right angle, the sum of those three angles must add up to 180 degrees. And because each of these bottom angles are equal to each other, I'm gonna split up the remaining 60 degrees that I would need in order to make the three angles add up to 180. I wanna split that 60 up into 30 and 30. So each angle down here is 30. We know that's 120. And again, all added up, that's 180. So the angle that we were looking for, again, is this angle here. So our answer would be 30 degrees. And of course, we don't have to worry about the degree symbol when filling that in.